we thank god for his his favor upon our lives shona ai koi gi punsi bu chanbiri ba kuding mak singa sigi damak thagat chari he has been speaking to us about his great love for zion mahakna mahaki sion bu yamna nung sijaba asigi mari da the lord is speaking to us about his great love for his church jehova na mahaki singlo pu lord is speaking to us about how the lord will restore zion from all her captivity mahaki lanfa oiba asidagi karam nam sion bu thado pigada gi like to read these verses again and then move as the lord would lead us sigi pada singa se pa jare araga prabhu na singbi bagi matunge na chathame na se awake awake put on thy strength o zion put on thy beautiful garments o jerusalem the holy city for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean <coughs> हौरो हौरो ना की पांगल हा पो हे सियोन ना की फजरब फिरोल सिंग सेट लु हे जेरुसालेम असेंग बि सहर मरम दि उन कक्तब सिंग अमासुंग अमांग ब सिंग नंगों द अमुक हन हलक लरो शेक थाइसेल्फ फ्रॉम द डस्ट राइज एंड सिट डाउन ओ जेरुसलेम लूज थाइसेल्फ फ्रॉम द बैंड्स ऑफ दाय नेक ओ कैप्टिव डॉटर ऑफ जायन नसाद की उफुल कंथो ओ हगो तो नफमो हे जेरुसलेम नहा कि नक कि अफा अपुन द गि नसा बु लौथो ओ हे लनफा ओरि बि सिनिंगो फॉर दस से द लॉर्ड यू हैव सोल्ड योरसेल्फ्स फॉर नॉट एंड ही शैल बी रिडीम्ड विदाउट मनी मरम दि जेहोबा न असुम न हाय न कोइ न नसा बु अरेम बद योन खरे न कोइ बु शेल याउद न हंदो कने Now we thank God for all that the Lord has been speaking to us from this verse. Sigi pada singa si dagi Prabhu na ikoy dengang bi dona lagle ba kuding mak singa si gi damak thagat chari. We see the real the the love of God for Zion for his church. Ikoy na ure madudi isor na Sion mahaki singlup asibu nungsi viva ase si dagi. You know as the scripture says in verse 3 शास्त्र पद अहम ही हेव सोल सेल्स फॉर नॉट न कोई न करी सु का नब अरे दमक यो वी सी द हार्ट ऑफ गॉड टू रिडीम हर एंड रेस्टोर हर बैक टू हिम सेल्फ adobo isor gi mathamo ida leriba mahakna mangon da masamak ta singlu what the lord is trying to convey to the church is singlupta prabhu na ai ko hiding le chai no har ga di o singlup mi ko arise o church o church how god god still loves you is the message of god isor na na koi bo hojik phao bo nung sibiri hai bo si isor gi wa phao you will be redeemed na ko andok pi gani and this shall be done by the hand of god masi isor gi khut mang na tawbi gani and what a good news it is masi kaya da afa bo wa phao no What a wonderful news it is. Kaya da chau bo wa pau no mase. And no wonder the scripture says here. Sahasra na sum na hari sida. Um you know it says how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of them that bring good tidings. Singtak singta adu da afa bo wa pau sing porak pa maha ki khong kaya da ni 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 that despite the conditions of the church singlopna oriba phiba despite the conditions of zion i this yon na oriba phiba masi ki god is going to redeem you ishona na ha ko handok pi gani hallelujah amen how precious are the feet of them who publish this glad news singtak ka sidha porak pa apa apa bo apa porak pa khong sidha sidha that is the original thought of this text or this verse masigi pada asigi aho budagi lekla bo wakalo na do machine well it can be used for preaching the gospel no doubt oi masigi verse si wo pa sando pagi mari da hari bani hai na but spoken in connection with the restoration of zion adu masidi sion bo hando pe hanjalan bi mari da hari bani upon the mountains are the feet of them that bring the good tidings singtak sing asida aduda afabo apau sing porapama ki khong ki kayada ningthi jakraba maha ning good tidings 
of good that publisheth salvation that saith unto Zion thy God reigneth Hallelujah. you know that's the good news the good news to God's remnant church in this hour is that God's time has come to restore her your chains will fall off you will again sing and shout for joy you will be given with a beautiful garment God is bringing you back as a bride prepared for his son the Lord Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are you encouraged or not? Are you encouraged or not? You know, we need to understand that all that God is speaking is not negative. He's talking about the earthliness, the dust, the carnality. All these things is not something negative, but remember. God's heart is very positive. God wants to restore Zion. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's remember one thing. That God's heart is towards His church. To restore her. You know, and so let us listen to whatever God has to say in the light of His heart's desire. That He wants to, you know, prepare us as a bride unto the bridegroom. You know, he's providing a garment. You know, so every word that God is speaking here is for the restoration of his church, his own. So may God help us. So let's listen to what God has to say to us even today in the light of God's heart which is a heart of love and restoration of his people. Yes. The invitation is church you take dominion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ over every power. That is the desire of God. Amen. So let's not see the word of God as something that will bring us down and negative. You know, it's not like that. God is telling, shake that dust off. Arise. Yes. Yes. He is not causing us to fall down or go down, but he is telling us to arise, rise up. He is telling you are fallen, you are down there, but arise, I want to lift you up. You are chained, but lose yourself. You are sitting on the ground, but arise and sit on the throne. Hallelujah. Is it not the glad and good news? Hallelujah. Amen. So may God help us. Let not the enemy come and whisper in your ears. Every Sunday you come, you are hearing all these things. Does do ye wo. Yeah. No, he's telling you have already fallen, but rise up. You are covered with dust. Now you need to shake off that dust. 
So whatever God has to say to us even this morning, listen to that and hear that in the light of this heart of God. Now we heard so much during the last couple of weeks. You know, God wants the church to come out of every earthliness. Dust off or shake off every dust. We heard last week about how defilement come or the, we gather up dust in our lives through self-interest. We saw how persistent the enemy is to get us somehow involved in something questionable. You know, so we saw one scripture from the book of Exodus 28, 38. I will only quote that particular portion of that verse. The iniquity of, or in the holy things of, or of the holy things. Yes. Iniquity of the holy things. You know how, you know, uh, iniquity can come into the realm of holy things. How in that realm of holy things the enemy is always trying to get into. That involves compromise in and through the self or uh, in and through self-interest. We, we, we saw several aspects or several things in the light of that. Areas in the realm of love. You know how that very realm of love the enemy has destroyed. Sorry, I'm not getting into that we heard last week. You know, God gave man, you know, God created man with that desire that he may have dominion. We heard. You know that he may have dominion. No, that he may rule. You know, but we know how much that is perverted. How perversion has come into the realm of dominion. You know, that aspiration in man to... To, to have dominion is something that God gave man. But the enemy has destroyed that, polluted that. You know, but that is to be used by us to spiritually move on into the realm of dominion. As Paul said, I still press on that I may obtain so that spirit, that inspiration to have dominion is for spiritual dominion over everything of the enemy. Yes. You know, but the self has come in. That inspiration is now used in every other realm of our life. We want to use that, that uh, as uh, inspiration for our excellence in the world. You know that I may excel in the world. That I may go to get the first rank. You know that I may go to get the first That I may go to get the first rank. You know, we use this inspiration in the realm of our academics, in the realm of our job, in the realm of business, in every realm. But when it comes to spiritual life, this inspiration is not the same. 
But when God gave that inspiration, He desired that to be used for our dominion in spiritual life. Over all the powers of the enemy. That is why God gave this. The apostle Paul I press on that I may obtain. That I may obtain. Now that inspiration is to be used actually for our spiritual growth. But we hardly use it. Look at our lives. Look at our children. Where the emphasis is. No inspiration is given by us to our children to attain the best rank available, isn't it? Yes or no? What do you think of? You write competitive exams. competitive exam You may excel and you come something into life. In your life you may go on. But why is that inspiration not seen when it comes to spiritual life? That is the question mark. Amen. So we see how the enemy is destroying everything. You know, this is something we have to ponder over. You know, the enemy persists always to somehow involve us into something that is questionable. You know, and God wants to deliver us from the self. You know, God wants us to have Him in the first place. Not in merely saying it, but doing it in our lives. Now, that is the challenge. We all can say God is first in my life. We all can say seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added. Now saying is one thing. And doing is another thing. That is where we find this great challenge in all of our lives. Now we remember that God is doing everything for His church, for His people, that we may come into the place of dominion. Amen. The church is to have dominion. Hallelujah. She shall rule and reign with him. Overcome even as I overcame. And sit with me in my throne. Hallelujah. And the Lord has given us this inspiration. This, this inspiration, inspiration to have dominion is to come and be with him in his throne. Hallelujah. But you see how the self-interest the self comes. And that everything in our life is generalized now for the self. May God help us. May God help us and deliver us, brothers and sisters. Now, we need to move on. We also heard from the life of Abraham. You know, how the Lord really brought him to that realm of great test in his life. The Lord gave him a gift. Now, with the gift of God in the life of Abraham, he was also in a place of great trial in his life. Yes. Now, how easily 
iniquity could come into the realm of holy things you know but we thank God for the life of Abraham you know he had the weak moments in his life but we see that he has been uh, actually making a headway in his spiritual life you know and we saw very clearly from the book of Genesis when God spoke to him about offering his son you know Abraham responded to God and as far as God is concerned you know he saw something from the life of Abraham he tasted that which he never tasted from the life of Abraham that he let go his son you know and we thank God you know because he gave him and God gave him back to him his great salvation has come to us you know that's the great reality yes so there was no self ground it was a perilous moment in the life of Abraham we saw also how many a time in our own lives we hold back when the Lord says lay down and by holding back we are held the hand of God from uh, releasing many things into our own lives you know so we see so very clearly Many things, you know, intrude into the things of God even in our own lives. Oh, we thank God for all that God spoke to us from the life of Abraham. You know, and one thing I shared last Tuesday. You know, many a time we get convictions in the gathering. And, and we do do uh, respond to God in prayer in 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 very in in a short time. We do respond to God. We do not have much time to linger on in His presence. But then, when we meet in the weekdays, somehow we lose those convictions. Even when we share from those thoughts, we move into many things. You know, we meditate on many things. But in that, those convictions, the Lord wrought in the meeting right here it's lost but that's one thing of great concern spend time meditate on God's word but don't you know lose the convictions God has wrought within your own heart we also heard very clearly from God's word about how you know the dust has come into or the self has come into the realms of worship, prayer, etc. You know, and it's my prayer that God will help all of us. You know, how the self interest has come into the realm of worship. You know, and I, I see that many a time God's people are robbed of a tooth true time of worship you know and we we kill that worship time we kill that gathering by our own mentalities yes you know prayer 
prarthana se hum darkar really help us ishwar ne ko bolte so god is speaking his word to us to deliver us that we may shake off these things and we may come into the place of ascension in our lives mara maduna ta se na ai ko da ishwar na ngang biri basi hari ba uful gi ba kuding mak singa se kanthok chare hari ga ai ko wang khat now let us move on to the morning again no this defilement in our lives masi gi mang thok pagi oi ba ko gi punsi da this dust in our lives masi gi ai ko gi da leri ba uful singa se this earth touch in our lives ai ko gi punsi da leri ba prithibi gi oi ba singa se could come into our lives masi ai ko gi punsi da sangse lakpa ya bani and it doesn't have to be necessarily so evil hari basinga se ai ko not through so much of evil things yam na phata ba pot oi na ko na wakal khale ga leri ba do adu yam phata ba pot khati ba pa ang holy thing lak pani hai na khan gom se masi gi seng da basinga se they don't have to be something we call very evil hari ba mang thok pa hai ba ki pot sing se ai ko na ta se na yam na phate na khal lagale ri ba pot sing do adu khakta na te so the unholy things they don't have to be something very evil hai ba di seng da ba chum da ba pot sing ase amang ba pot sing hai na hari ba sing ase yam na phate na ko na le ri ba do adu khakta na te adu sing du na oi roi da bani yes when we talk about unholiness i ko na seng da bagi mari da ngang ba matam da hai ba matam da yes many a time our thoughts linger on things which are very evil very cruel okay ba i ko na yam ba matam da masi ki mari da ngang na ba matam da yam na tam thi ba yam na phat ta ba do adu ki maram da ko wa something very corrupt yam na sokchal la ba yam something very black yam te na bushin mu boi do adu ki maram da ko na khalli mang thok pa gi matang da khana ba matam da ngang that's the way we think about unholiness seng da ba gi oi ba sing se do mai taw bra aina ko na khalli ba du ni yes you know and we need to realize that unholiness doesn't have to mean so evil so corrupt so dark so black maramaduna seng da ba hai ba se yam ti na mochin mu ba yam ti na sokchal la ba yam na phatra ba do adu oi adu singa du khakta na te adu the earth wakhal ta hoy da bani adi prithibi ki hoy ba or the defilement of the natural hai ba di mahu sha gi oi ba asida mang thok ko oi ba lai isn't have to be always so dark and so dirty and corrupt as we think yam tina mot ba yam mushen mu ba adu ga yam sok chal ba ai ko na khan ba gi matung ina leri ba singa so we need to be delivered from that kind of mindset first of all ma ko ai ba si da da leri ba sai ko na do mai na khali ba khalon do da ge ko defilement dar kar hoy mang thok ba ai ba se come in through many other things mang thok ba ai ba se men on look like so dirty dark and black and corrupt mang thok ba ai ba se hiram ka ya da gi changsa lak pa ya ba ni ai ko na khali ba yam tin mo chen mu ba yam sok chal la ba yam phat ta ba do adu khak ta da gi la oi tonga to ai di hiram ka ya da gi ai ko da changsa lak pa ya ba ni mang thok pa gi mo ma to se lak pa ya ba ni yes so may god help us to see some of these things masi gi kari ba hiram khara se ai ko uja ba remember we are living in this world ning sing bi ma du dei ko na masi gi tai ba ma si da ne ko na hingli ba and we are living on this earth masigi hadi prithibi ase da ne ko na hingli ba se hadi sira phangla ba prithibi the lord curse this earth ishor na masigi prithibi ase sira ta ukra ba madu ko khangja ba everything in this creation khushiya masi da da leri ba khuding maksi ba lies under a curse sira ki makha da leri ba ni and god is going to ultimately release this great universe from that curse ishorna mama ithan acha chapter lengli pali ba kuding maksing ase sirapa du degi ma na handok pi gani mahag na soida na mak thado pi gadori bani you know we read that in the book of romans masi ai koi na romeo the whole creation is groaning for that deliverance khushem puna magna madu gi thado pi badu ki na heri you know they are looking out for the day there will be a manifestation of the sons of god who will bring this creation out of the curse 
ไม่ใช่กี่ประมาณไม่ใช่กี่สักกี่ it is becoming more and more stronger. Yes. We are able to see that going from, you know, from, from one kind of strong uh, expression to another strong expression. The higher man would arise. You know, the more man rises up, you know, uh, to, uh, to a higher place in himself, the quicker he destroys himself. Yes. Amen. And you see that. You see that, ha that, that happening all around us. You know, as man rises up quicker or quickly according to his own abilities, the quicker he rises up, the quicker he destroys himself. With his own work. Amen. 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 Do you see that happening around? We see that. Man rises up in his strength. With all the advancement of technology. With all that he could invent for himself. The quicker he rises up. The quicker he destroys himself with his own work. Masaki Tabak Namaku Mahan Jaribani? Yes. You know, one thing you know. This is something we must see by the Holy Spirit. Man may rise to any height by his own ability and strength and his intellect. But he cannot rule out the power of death. Amen. Even the most powerful nation and leader in the world cannot have power. He cannot rule out the power of death in, over his own life. Yes, that's a reality. And he cannot rule out the power of evil. Yes. He cannot rule out the power of immorality and sin. From his world. Or from this world. However greater heights he may rise up. He is not able to. He cannot rule out the power of death. He has no power over death. He has no power over evil. He has no power over immorality and sin. Despite all the great heights he could rise up in his life. The further he goes, the more that power of evil is coming over him. Look at the evil minds of many leaders of nations today. Yes. The farther or the further he goes, the power of evil is much more 
over him. And death works. And he has no power over death. Amen. Amen. And we must realize this. Yes. We are living in a world like this. And it is a vain thing to talk about new world. It is a vain thing to talk about the new world. It's a false thing to talk about the new world order. You know, people are talking so many things about new world order and new world and so on. I want to tell you, saints, it's all gimmick. Man in reality has no power over death. Man has no power over evil. Over immorality and sin. The higher he goes, the more destructive he becomes. That's the history. That is what we see around today. Yes. So we live in a world that is under curse. You know there can be no new order. <laughs> no new world. Though people are harping about it day and day, day in and day out. <laughs> you know they're talking about it. They sing about it. But nothing can come about until you change the nature of man. And man has no ability for that. Oh, may God help us to understand this, brothers and sisters. All these things that man may speak about cannot help man. Yes. Unless Man's very nature is changed. There can be no new order. There can be no new world. Yes. And we need to realize this. How often we can be carried away with the songs that we you know, hear people sing about the new world and so many things. People can talk about even a new India. And how people are trying to make a new India. I want to be very careful about what I say. So we need to realize, brothers and sisters, don't be deceived by man's words. Uh, don't be deceived. Uh, deceived. Uh, right words we need, brother. Strong words. Don't be deceived by man's words. How are big they may be by name and position. Hallelujah. God's word is what we need to honor. Don't believe a lie. Our great men may be by name and by stature and position. Don't believe a lie. Unless man's very nature is not changed. There can be no new world, no new order. And man has no ability to change man's nature. May God help us to understand this. So don't get caught in the web of all these things that men are doing today. We live in a world. We live in a creation like that. Yes. May God register this in our hearts. And the prince of this world. 
He has got things in his hands. This cursed world. The prince of this world has in his hands. Yes, there is no doubt about it. You and I will live in this world. Yes. And remember, while we are in this world, we are very much in this world where he has his control and influence. Remember that. We belong to the Lord. But we are still in this world. That's what Jesus prayed in John 7. And so the Lord said, Keep them from the evil one. Amen. 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 He said, Not take them away. The Lord did not say, Take them away. But he said, Keep them, Lord. Keep them from the evil one. Keep them from Satan. Keep them from the prince of this world. Yes. That is what Jesus prayed. So we need to realize the prince of this world has this world in his hands. Yes. We need to realize. But the day is coming. It shall be taken from him. This whole universe will be brought out of the curse as well. We need to realize that is the great call of the church of Jesus Christ. So we are living in this world. We are part of this creation. That is groaning. We also groan in ourselves. Amen. Amen. Everything is in the hands of the prince of this world. We need to realize this. The world has got things in his hands. Yes. There is no doubt about it. And if we live in this world, or as we live in this world, we can see his hand everywhere. We can see his hand coming upon us. It's a reality. That's why Jesus prayed. Keep them from the evil one. Yes. Shatru se bana bacha kare. Yes. So Jesus Christ prayed like that. If you live in this world. He has you in his hands. Yes. He has you. Or his hand is pretty close to you. Yes. You know, and the moment we step across the kingdom of God's Son, you know, the moment we take a step away, we are right there into his hands. Yes. We are right there in the kingdom of the enemy. You know, you don't have to travel anywhere. 
Karai the sunang na mukisa. You don't have to buy tickets online. Ticket kani ngai hoy thabani. You, they will, he will never ask for your, you know, your ID or even your credit card and debit card. No Google, Google Pay, nothing is necessary. Google Pay, nothing. It takes only a fraction of minutes. You step out of the kingdom of God's son. You are right there in the kingdom of darkness. This is necessary to remind, it is necessary to remind ourselves. You know, the moment you touch that realm, you know that you are touching the realm of death. Now, this is not negative preaching. This is God's word. It's very positive That the moment you cross the kingdom of light, you are in the kingdom of darkness. The moment you cross the kingdom of light, you are touching the kingdom of death. Amen. Are you getting it? This is not philosophy. This is reality of life. And how often we have sensed this. That you have touched something that is not life. Yes. Amen. Amen. You felt it. You felt that you had touched something that is not life. Yes. We know we had touched death. So it's a reality in our lives, brothers and sisters. So listen very carefully. Now, the more you want to progress on in the Lord, yes. the more you want to grow in the Lord, in other words, the more we have to be sensitive and cautious. Yes. That we do not touch the realm of death. We do not touch the realm of the earth. That we do not touch that realm of the curse. Yes. So this is something that we ought to be concerned about in our own lives. Yes. So if your desire and my desire is to grow on in God. You know we should arm ourselves with that mind. Lord, give me the grace to be sensitive to you, to your Holy Spirit, to be sensitive to you, to your Holy Spirit, you, to to cross and touch anything in that realm. Yes. Yes. We might have done that in the past in our lives. We could have touched many things in the past in our lives. At one time as God's children, we were insensitive. But now, the question is of now. Amen. Forget the things of the past. Now that's what the Lord says. The daughter of Zion. Arise. Lose thyself. Forget the past. Think of the present. Think of the now. 
ไอ้ฮาวซิกที่มีนากองซิงนาคังนาวไอ้วอนท์ทูบีเซนซิทีฟไอ้ฮาวซิกที่มีนากองซิงนาคังนาวไอ้วอนท์ทูบีเมอร
Remember the more we feel limited to the other realm we are progressing in the realm of his purpose Ningsing view atopa mapham jaga adu daida he nai koi bu thingjin liba phaw di he nai koi bu da panghai thamlak liba phaw di ai koi ta se nai jogi panda madu da chaukha chari bani hai ba se khang biu So the question that I want to ask us do you want to go on in the realm of God's purpose Aina hang janing mawa hang di mayam da na koi iswar ki And if you are wanting to go go on in the realm of God's purpose Na koi iswar ki pandam da chatha ning bado chatha bining bo oining labadi You all we all will experience a, a greater limitation I koi lo oina ba kha in that realm where everybody is found Ato pa ma pha mi pum kudi mana laina ba ma pha ma du da koi lo oina ma pan kai nai ba koi bu thingjen bi ba do koi khangla kan Yes we will be we will be very limited I koi yam na thingjen bi ba when people are lavishing themselves and indulging themselves without any limitation you are totally limited thing bi ba leitana mi sing na yam na chum da ba mong da pun si le na ba sa tha ba matam da na hak na mari ba ma pham da na ki da mok ta di pan khai na ba thingjen bi ba do na na khangal kan you are limited nang di you may see other believers in that realm You may see many Christians in that realm. Hoi hari ba jaga du da to pa tai mayam ma ki sa ya ni ba ai. Na na ura ka ni. Such a freedom and liberty. Ma khoi ki damak ta de ning yam na tamba pan khai lai ta ba adu gum ba thingjan bi ba lai ta ba adu ba na ngon da di phaw ra ka ni pan khai adu phaw ba ni na ngon da. In the realm of God's purpose. Kari ki no hai ba ma tam da na hak ti sor ki pan dam da chathari ba du oi ba ki maram na. So Well the persuasions of the enemy will come to us. Soi da na ma yagna ba ki thawil sa na khoi da la ka ni. You know to bring in the self A look at sad sadong da pusala ka ni you you are like this look at those they are also believers yengu makoi su ta ba mi sinatra makoi su christian oi bani makoi su they also go to the church makoi su church ka bani they should also share testimony sampana makta makoi church ka aduna testimony saruk yari bani hari bani hoi ta seng ta seng bani also great reality masi su ta seng ta seng bani so when we begin to move in the realm of god's purpose aduna ai koi nei shogi pandam da chatha ba matam da definitely we will find limitation in the other realm ंग <laughs> मधुदी याम मसी दी याम अफ खुदम मधुदी नहाक तेगी पांडम चौखली है खुदम खुमा चौसली है चथरी है बुक ऑफ रेवलेशन आईन रेवलेशन की लाइक ये चैप्टर फोर्टीन पंदुप तरह मरी महाकलोनाई बी Maming eva mi lak manga lising nipu mari lerami. Yes, and we read in verse four. Four da mo kay koy pa. From the middle portion, I'm reading four. Maya ay gisaro. Four gi maya ay gisaro. These are they which follow the Lamb with the sword he goeth. Ma koy asidi yao macha aduna chat pa ma pam da matung ilibasing ni. These are they which follow verse four. These are they which follow the Lamb with the sword he goeth. पद मरी मई थंग सरुक्त पंदुप तरह मरी मई थंग सरुक्त 
As we shared a while back, moving on in that realm of God's purpose. Isorgi or Iba Pandam da Chathami na ba Chathari ba Mi Singa do Hai ba do Masini. You know, this is that realm. Masini Madhu ki Iba Jaga do ni. Follow the Lamb whithersoever He goes. Yau Macha na Chathpa Chathpa Ma Pham Singa da Chathpa. A hundred and forty-four thousand company. That speaks about a governmental people. You know, that number speaks about God's governmental number. Yes. You know, so we see that these people follow the Lamb wheresoever He goes. Now, this is the difficulty of those who want to move on with the Lord. Please understand. Go, yes. Those who want to go on with the Lord, they will find this difficulty that they cannot go wherever they want to go. Amen. This is the difficulty of this realm. Whereas in the other places, they can go anywhere. There's no limitation. But those who are moving on in Christ, Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to experience a limitation. And that is the difficulty we all will face. That is the difficulty of following the Lamb. That is the difficulty of going on with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to tell all my young brothers and sisters. It's not a matter of GSF. It's not a matter of this fellowship. This is the matter of those who follow the Lamb. I want to tell you, you want to leave this church, you can leave. You can go to another church. But if that church also is speaking about following the Lamb, you will face the same problem. <laughs> Even that place also the, the purpose of God is strongly preached and practiced in a local church environment. You will and I want to say that, therefore, it is not something that we have made, Joy Thomas or GSF has made. It's God's word. It's universal. It is for all believers in all ages and at all times. Amen. Please understand this. So it's got nothing to do with the church. It got to do with God's call on your life. Yes. And may God help us to settle this issue. So it is, it is, it is this call upon our lives. That's why Paul said, what worthy of this call? No, we have to walk worthy of this call. Yeah, correct. You got it. 
You know, so we see that this call has come upon you. Amen. You cannot purchase this call. This call has come upon you. Did you buy this? Did you earn this? He saved you and called you according to his own purpose. Amen. Amen. By grace. Now what is to be done? Now walk worthy. You could not buy this. You could not earn this. It has come upon you as a gift of God. So what is required? Don't drag this down into the dust. And say Lord here also I can live this life. No, you understood my brother. I, I smile with you. Remember. Walk worth. That's all you can do. All you can do is don't drag it down to the dust. Walk worthy of it. High calling. Walk there. Walk, there. Walk in that realm. Live in that realm. I will give you the grace. The grace that brought you to this call. That call will also help you to walk worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's come to you. And I will help you. You know, so remember one thing. As we walk in that realm, it's the realm of a governmental people. So I would like to say one thing. Very clearly to all of us, the time is running on very fast. There is a certain amount of isolation that we all will feel when we follow the Lamb. Isolated. Ah. Yes, we will face a certain amount of isolation in our lives. Now remember, this isolation we can feel among our own family. Now, don't say, you know, we are, we are a big family. We are a famous family. It's all going, it's all part of the dust. <laughs> Do you know that? Family name. Oh. We are a big family, known family, famous family. That's all but we find it difficult to leave those things. And there may be many in our families. Remember all these things. We can maintain the family tree. Yeah. So sometimes we maintain the family tree by forgetting the tree of life. So you have to choose which tree you want to fit in the family tree or tree or tree of life. Now, listen carefully. Isolation comes in. If we are pressing on in the realm of fullness, listen carefully. This isolation will come. Amen. Yes. So don't waste your time on all the family trees. And at the end, you will find the family head, Satan. Don't, don't we all will find we have one father. And the father of lies, we have been there all these years. Yes. So, that's what Jesus said. We were all in the realm of darkness. We were all in the realm of darkness. We lived as his children, telling lies, living lies, everything we did. But we thank 
God delivered us. Ado bo ishona ko bukan biki bani. Ado ko na ko ya chang mai pa. Ado ko na ko ya chang mai pa. Gave his own son for us. Maha ki machani pa. Ado ko na ko ya chang mai pa. High calling, heavenly calling, and he says, "What worthy?" Hallelujah. Amen. And we must Amen. have the heart for it. See, when we have the heart, God will bring us to that place. Yes. So as I said, there is a certain amount of isolation. I na isyo kare madu di ta se na to khai ta bogi oi bo machanga do lei bani hai na. And this is something that we cannot. You know, avoid in our lives. Masih singa sih dia kau pun sih, tapi itu nanti aku pakai ya. If you are going on with the Lord, nak kau ni Prabu kau cakap mina rebut. If you are moving on with the Lamb, nak kau ni yau macam aku cakap mina rebut. Following the Lamb, whether he wherever he goes, yau macam aku cakap cakap macam aku di mak tu, nak kau ni cakap la bade. You know one thing. Kari gumba macam kang biu. Sometimes you look around, nobody is seen. Kerimu mata anda di nakoi nak koi pada yang lakukan mata anda karena amat tersuhu dah bayar. That's the reality. I've seen that. Tersenyum tersenyum mana masih ayun. You look around and nobody seen. Akoi pada yang lakukan mata anda karena amat tersuhu dah bayar. I'm not saying that there's therefore nobody else is there. But ayun aja ribet di karena amat tam lagi dia. In that situation, nanti aduh bo aduh gumba fiba mata lakukan mata anda. Place of you following. You may not find anybody else. Nang na tungin liba, mapa madu dahi da nang na ato patay na tungin bado udaba yai. You will be following the lamb in that area, and you may find yourself alone. Nang na madu ki jagadu dahi da yau macabu tungin. You understand what I'm saying? Nang ki jibam lakom atam da nang ki punchida awa nang ki punchida lakom atam da nang ki punchida. So this isolation, this loneliness, if I want to put another word, is going to be a reality in everyone who is following the lamb of God. Mara madu nama cik itu kaya bahaya bersih dia ini hari jering libu sih dia topol onda amat jauh macam cik itu ngelibu mipung kudi mana macam cik tengah rakata betah seng tak seng betul ni hari hari jering betul kita ni. Thawai gigi oi benai tom ta abado. It's a reality. Macam tak seng tak seng. So when you and I feel spiritual loneliness, don't think everybody has left you. Thawai gigi nai tom ta rakpa sih nak koi nama yok narakpa seng narakpa faurukpa matam dar nak koi nak kanbi kanu mipung kudi mana nak koi buat hadok pirenang nak tom tanin nak kanbi kanu. Amen. Atau patai saya am masih lahiri bani. They are in their own realm. Na makoi su makoi makoi ki oi ba ma. They are own in their own realm, in their own places, following the Lamb. Makoi su makoi makoi ki jaga jaga ada tungi lahiri bani. Hallelujah. But there are those who follow the Lamb. Yau macam ki tungin ba sing su lahiri atau pama pama sing dalam mai jaga ada. You know, we will find this isolation. We will find the spiritual loneliness. It's a reality. Men of God who walk this way have experienced this in their lives as well. Ishori manai si na chuma kogi ma pun sida masi ki jagal se pangdu na matik chana chat krabani. Yes. When we are in this world, aikoi na masi ki tai bangasi da leiba matamda. If we touch anything of the other realm voluntarily. Aku isah makna atau pemaham atau sok neng na sok rabadi. You know we realize that immediately. Aku dek tak aku bab tarak pani. We we feel that we are touched death. Aku na power pani aku asih bagi apa tu. Nobody needs to come and tell us. Karena amat laga aku dah happy nengai oi da pani. When we are sensitive. Aku na mit nakong singba matam dadi. When we are given to this realm of God's workings. Isorgi wahai isorgi thabak cuba maha masih aku na pisil lagan dadi. We feel. We have defiled ourselves. I quite know that. You know, therefore, it doesn't mean therefore we need to leave our schools, we leave our colleges, we leave our our business, we leave our office and sit at home. Mana mana tu na, I koi I koi ki school, I koi ki business, I koi ki thabok sing thado ayaraga, I koi yom dalai rohai bagi artha tu na tesi di. Oh brother, I'm going to leave my job. I'm coming to H2. Oh brother, I give thabak thado gaya is to the lakh lagani hai. That's not what the word of God says. Hai rakano madu, lakh pi kano madu, ishwar ki wine hai ribadu madu nati. That's not what it means. Asi na artha tau ribadu madu hai ribadu nati. We all are here. I koi loy na mag. We are in this world. Now listen to what Paul says. Now it's a tremendous word in the book of 1st Corinthians. Corinthians, ahan mo Corinthians ki larikta. Yeah, just turn with me and I need to really go faster now. Uh, first Corinthians and chapter five. First, ahan ba Corinthians ki panduk mga and verse ten. Padatara. Yes. Now look at what Paul says. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world. 
Uh, let me read verse 9 and 10. In other words, I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous or extortioners, or with idolaters, for then ye must needs to go out of the world. Yeah. He says, I wrote you in my previous letter not to associate closely and habitually with unchaste, impure people. Not meaning, of course, that you must altogether shun the immoral people of this world or the greedy graspers and cheats and thieves or idolaters, since otherwise... You would need to get out of the world and human society altogether. Amen. So Paul says you meet cheats and idolaters and adulterers and fornicators in the world. We have to be here. They will be around us. If that is the way, then we have to leave this world and go. He says that's not possible. Yeah. And then he says what he really means is talking about is talking about somebody who's a brother who's a fornicator, keep away from him. Yeah. Now, what he says that, let me read verse 11. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an idol, idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner with such an one not to eat. All right? Everybody is a fornicator. You cannot get out of them. What a keep away from them. But that's what Paul was saying. Now, so we see that we are in this world. And it's not easy for us or it's, 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 not, it's not easy for us to get out of this world. Rather, we cannot go out of this world. Yes. Now let me just read it from uh, another translation. Uh, translation Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But when I said that I wasn't talking about unbelievers who live in sexual sin and or are greedy cheats and thieves and idol, worship, idol worshippers, you can't live in this world without being with people like that. Amen? Amen. You cannot live in this world without people like that. So he says, I'm not saying you go out of the world. Yes. So, let it be very clear to all of us that we are in this world. You know, but we, as we progress on in this realm of life, 
When we move in this realm of uh, God's purpose, we follow the Lamb where He takes us. We need to dust off or shake off all this dust, this earthliness. That is the point. We will experience that isolation and spiritual loneliness. So this is very, very important. So this is very, very important. So this is very, very important. So the question is that we need to be, uh, whether we will be uh, sensitive enough in our lives that we would not Voluntarily cross over. Yes. We do not cross over voluntarily or with the knowledge. Yes. Now that is very important. Will we cross over our spiritual links? Yes. Will we cross over to the other realm and make our choices there? Yes. Will we cross over to that realm and make our choices in that realm? Yes. Now that is the question. Now as we know that as we are in the world we live in this world we are working in this offices here in the world secular offices you know, private firms and government for, uh, offices. And we know that we involve in many things. Yes. Where we have to be involved. Yes. Now the question is, are there things where we violate, move from one realm and come to the other realm. Can our heart associate with certain things being done there? When certain choices are made, am I crossing this realm and coming to the other realm? Is my desires and likings crossing over into the other realm? Now, these are very practically in our lives. And the persuasions are always there to cross over. You know, saints of God, this is where our struggles and battles are going to be. But those who will experience an isolation here. Will experience spiritual loneliness here. Yes. Remember, everything in that realm when we violate, we cross over and voluntarily get into, it brings death and unholiness into our lives. So, listen, God is not speaking a word, God is not speaking a word of condemnation. Remember one thing, when we touch the earthly, 
When we touch that cursed thing there, you know, remember, we come under a kind of spiritual arrest. Arrest. Uh, yeah. Something that is arresting and holding you back. Yes. Is it true? How often we have experienced that? Our momentum, our moving is arrested. We find we have lost our momentum. That progression is somehow stopped. We have lost that little spiritual power we experienced. We are not a, we 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 felt that that ascendancy is stopped. Yes. We have lost our position that we had. Yes. It may be sometimes in and through that little joy we had is gone. That, that That's gone. That little peace that we had. That's gone. Yes or no? Do you experience this? That little rest that's now gone. We are touched a different realm. I just want to read a word and I think the time is almost up there and I'll, I'll turn us to the book of Haggai. I read that on, on Tuesday the book of Haggai and the chapter 2. Haggai, I'd like to read, we'll not read in Hindi for saving time. We'll read from verses 11 to verse 13. In that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings. Um, okay. Sorry, I've taken a wrong scripture. Um, I'll read from verses 12 to 14. Sorry, uh, Haggai chapter 2 verse 12 to 14. If one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt do touch bread, or pottage, or wine, or oil, or any meat, shall it be holy? And the priest answered and said, No. Then said Haggai, If one that is unclean by a dead body, Touch any of this, shall it be unclean? And the priest answered and said, It shall be unclean. Then answered Haggai and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, saith the Lord, and so is every work of their hands, and that which they offer. There is unclean. I would like to read from. Kanagumana Mahaki Pizzi, the Iratpa, Aseng, Iratnava Aseng, Basapu, Raga Mahaki, Pina, Natal, Natraga, Hawaii, Mahi, Natraga, Draka, Natraga, Tau, Natraga, Ate, Chinzak, Shoklo, Rabadi, Chinzak, Ado, Sengadra, Puru, Hitching, Nakum, Duna, Haiki, Sengloi, Adodagi, Taram, Doida, Hagai, Haiki, Asi. Asi Bahakang So Uba Maramna Amang Bakanagumba Amana Pumna Maka Ase Manung Puna Sigi Manungda Ama Sokla Badi Madus Mang Loidra Maduda Purichingna Kumki 
kumduna hai ki madu mangani aduga haga ina kumduna hai ki if mata aduga one of you is carrying a holy sacrifice in his hands hai ki mangda ori bani jehova na and happens to brush against some bread or wine or meat will it too become holy no the priest replied holiness does not pass to other things that way Amen. Amen. This translation is very good. He says, "A man is carrying some holy things." Sita hari ami hoy bana asyang ba porting puraga mi amana asyang ba porting. And he robe touches something. Adu ko maki na na karin ba. Darakha na traga thau na traga sa ato porting. You know the prophet asks, "Will that become holy?" Madhu Singh ado chholo ba porting ado singh lakatra hai na prophet ato na hangi hagai hangi. So the priest said, "No." Prophet ato porting na ta ina hai. Holiness does not pass to other things that way. That way. ส่งมาพอดน่ะอัตโตปอดสิงก็โซกะเชียงฮันบายาบะอดุกิมะวงดะไลเตไฮนะไฮอดุกิมะวงดะไลเตอเชียงบายบะสิดิอเชียงบะ
Hadi atau patok pernah kau tahu betapa aku penting mau singgah tu. Hadi, aku nak tahu kalau tahu, aku nak tahu bermata tahu tu. Were contaminating your sacrifices. Na koi na sa mak na na koi ki ilang kosing na to mangthong e palhande. Ay bidin na sa gi wakal onde hingba si maram na. Adu ko patta ba thamo e galoy na na hingba maram na. Mangthong e. Not only your hearts, but everything else that you did as a service to me. Everything else. Na koi katho pa yata ko ni kung kano tapo na koi na head tapo ko ding maingon na tapo galoy na tapo gibo ko ding magsinga do mang thok laba thok laba hotel laba pat tapo do ay rakti bani ay rakti bani kari ginawa ba bu sa na sagi ay ba isagi ay ba do yao bagi maram na you were contaminating your sacred by living with selfish attitude na koi na irat po rado mang thoi ba do kari ginawa ba bu na sagi apa ang bagi matay ni hing bagi maram na na sagi ay ba do yao sin bagi maram na Hai betul masih ke mangtok pahai bese isagi apa bagi mapa na mangtok pani, mana mana tu nasi na ucing loisha lagi. You know when we touch the other realm. Hai koi na tu apa mapa madu sok lupa matam dah. It's the realm of death. Masih dia sih bagi way betul ni. It's the realm of, you know, dust. Masih dia upul gigi way betul jaga tu ni. It's the realm of darkness. Masih dia amam bagi way betul mapa madu ni. It's the realm of iniquity. Masih dia ayol orang gigi. Why would you need? It's my prayer that God would help all of us. So, may God help all of us to be sensitive to this call. Let's be really awakened to this high call. Awake. Amen. Hawgalo, hawro, hawro. Awake, awake. Hawro, hawro. Make up hawro. Oh, Zion, give me a chance. Let's realize. Yes, Baptist is a holy calling. Masih give makau, asih di asyeng makau ni hai besi Baptist jera si. Worthy. Mara madon mati cahana catlo. You could never earn this. Masih nak koi nata anba pang tala ke pang mana te? Pang bayar mana te? Ado boy koi dah pang tuang libu kuding masih asih di mati cahana catlo hai bani. Masih gigi piti gigi, oh iba asih lagi tholak tu nama tu gigi mafah madu lak. Oh cangsha lah, oh hai bani. Soan aku buat kuding mak puteng bang bibor sana. God help all of us. Aku ikut kuding mak puteng bang bibor sana isuana. Holy things touching unholy will not make it holy. It doesn't pass on that way. Aseng bapot na seng da bapot pusok laga sengan bayi abonat dia tu gigi mawong dal aseng bapot di thang thade. But adu bu that which is unholy can make holy things. Asyeng bapot pun sengan dapat dia apa ni? Sok laga. May God save us. Soalnya kalau bukan biasa. May God help us to live with great sensitivity and with great caution in these days. Nasi kita mesti singgih dah. Mesti nakong sing na section na lagi coba. Kita mampu ni soalnya kalau bukan mang dibuat, mesti kan dibuat. Soalnya isu lagi mang dek keluar, nampak lepak mina bersih. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. We have heard once again the heart's desire of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He is holding his holy garments for his church. Yes. He is just Standing there with outstretched arms saying, put on your strength. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can see the great love of God for his church, for you and for me. 
Let us arise, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We have heard his mind. God has revealed his heart to us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let's just spend a few moments. Just a few moments. And those things that God has spoken, let's just bring before the Lord. And let us respond to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Follow the Lamb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In this world. Hallelujah. So many things we heard. May the Lord watch over our confession, our decision, and our prayer this afternoon. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God's favor has come over your life. Shall we all pray to the Lord? In that realm that God has spoken to you and, and convicted, bring it before God and let's just make an expression. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh God. Oh, here I am, Lord Jesus. Yes, O God, I bring, O oh God, Lord, help me. Help me, O oh God. Oh, God of mercy. God of mercy, oh God. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for thy word, oh God. Thank you for your presence in the midst of your people. What can we say unto you, Lord? For your love is visiting us, Lord. The hour of your favor for your church is come, O oh God. You are holding your holy garments for your church. You are standing with an outstretched arm, Lord, offering your strength unto your people. Calling her to be awake. And to her eyes. And sit on the throne of God. Father. We thank you for your love. That's come to us once again this morning. Your word that has come to us with God. Persuading us with God to move on in that realm of God. Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Yes, O God, to move in the realm of your purpose, your life, your salvation, O God. To come out of the things which are under the curse and the power of the prince of the power of the air. Lord Jesus, O God, help us, Lord. We bring our lives to thee once again, Lord Jesus. Yes, O God. Help us, O God, that voluntarily we will never come out of the realm of life, O God. Help us, Father, to be cautious, to be sensitive, 
Lord Jesus. Oh, we have seen in our own lives. We have learned the hard way, Lord Jesus. Others may, but we cannot, Lord. We cannot, Lord Jesus. Help my brothers. Help my sisters. Help me, Lord. Help all of us to be followers of the Lamb, O oh God. O oh God, O oh God, help us. Where we will experience the limitations. We'll experience that isolation, O oh God. We will experience that spiritual loneliness of God. But the Lamb goes before us. And the followers are there, O oh God, surely. I'm not the only one, but there are others. Despite the loneliness, the comforting thing is, Lord, that there are others going after you too, Lord. Oh, Ramakaya Saka, Ramakaya Sai. Help me, Father, therefore, to remain focused in my life. Help my brothers and sisters, God. Help us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Father. I bring my life to Thee, O oh God. We bring our lives as your people even today unto the Father. O oh God of glory, your call is to share that very glory, Lord Jesus. Through Jesus Christ, your Son. O oh God, hallelujah, Lord. One day you will bring this earth out of the curse. Lord, the whole creation groaning will be liberated. Through a people who shall be fully liberated, O oh God. They will become an instrument in your hand to liberate this universe, O oh God. What a calling, Lord. We cannot earn this, but we can only live worthy of this, Lord. So help us to know it, Lord Jesus. We bring our lives to the Lord. Help us. We bring our lives to the Father. Help us. Lord. We thank you for your word. Holy things touching unholy things can never pass on holiness to those unholy things. But unholy things touching the holy things can make it unholy. Father, help us. We bring our lives, our choices, our, our decisions, our likes, our dislikes, all these things may not be in that realm, O oh God, of the world, Father. But all of them may be in the realm of the kingdom of your dear Son. Help us, Father. We bring our lives to thee. We thank you for the table that is set before us. The remembrance of the death and the suffering death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, your Son. Lord, help us to draw nigh to this table with these deep convictions wrought by thy Holy Spirit and every decision that we have come to or derived, Lord, in and through the ministration of thy word. Lord, we come to thee with those confessions and decisions. Lord, seal them by the power of your blood and bless this table, O oh God, as we remember your suffering, your death, and your resurrection. Lord, your victories may be our victories. Your sufferings will be our sufferings. That we will truly follow the Lamb wherever He would go. Lord, for we know the destiny of the Lamb. Hallelujah. 
we know the destiny of the lamb hallelujah yes and we thank you for that invitation to sit with you in your throne hallelujah lord we give you the glory we give you the praise bless this table minister to us oh god minister your life to us minister your strength to us minister that mind of christ into us lord thank you jesus yes that mind to suffer in the flesh yes lord a mind to overcome the world as you overcame grant that oh god is our humble prayer we pray not in unbelief we do not pray a religious prayer but we pray in hope and faith in the son of god that the father will answer us because we ask in his name thank you father thank you lord in jesus most precious and matchless name we pray I request all our brothers who are